Hello, my name is Jerry Band with the Avaya Serviceability Engineering Team. This video covers how to busy out and release individual MIS links in Communication Manager Release 6.2. Prior to CM Release 6.2, the busy out and release MIS commands applied to all assigned MIS type links. Individual MIS links could not be busied out or released. The drawback to this was all MIS links would lose data during the busy out period, even if only one link needed to be busied out for administration or troubleshooting purposes. Avaya services and customers have requested a way to busy out and release individual MIS links so other links would not be affected. So beginning with CM release 6.2, new parameters were added to the busy out and release MIS commands. These parameters allow the commands to work on individual MIS links as well as all links. Currently, four total MIS links can be assigned. Two for call management system application type MIS, and two for IQ, which uses application type CCR. The busy out or release MIS all commands will affect all assigned CMS or IQ links. The result is that it works the same as how the commands currently work on all links prior to release 6.2. Now you can also specify an individual processor channel number assigned to a CMS or IQ link. For example, busy out or release MIS1 will only affect the CMS or IQ link assigned to processor channel 1 all of the other MIS links would be unaffected. The new parameters will display in the list history command output. So you can see if the release or busy out commands were executed for all MIS links or just individual links. Now I will demonstrate how to use the new busy out and release MIS command parameters. I am logged into a 6.2 lab communication manager system. To find out how many MIS links are assigned and the corresponding processor channel numbers, enter the display communication interface processor channel command. This CM has processor channels 1 through 4 configured. The first two are application type MIS for CMS, and the last two are CCR for IQ. If you did not see any MIS or CCR links configured on the first page, use the Next Page key to view additional pages of processor channels. There are 384 possible processor channel numbers that can be assigned. Now I will cancel out of this display command. If you are not sure if the new busy out and release MIS parameters are available on this system, type busy space MIS and then hit the help or F5 key. The command syntax will display. This system shows the new parameters of all or a processor channel number from 1 to 384. WAE is a new application type that is not used yet. When WAE can be used, then you will be able to busy out and release individual WAE type links the same as CMS and IQ links. I will enter the word all to complete this busy out MIS command. This will busy out all four assigned MIS links. The command results display pass. This means the command was successful. If the result was abort with an error code, that would indicate a problem. You would need to look up the error code to determine the problem. 
One of the common BusyOut error codes is 1010, which means one or more links were already busied out. I'll demonstrate this by entering the busyMISAll command again. The result shows abort with error code 1010. Now I will release all the MIS links. The result shows passed, so the command executed successfully. As with the busy MIS command, if I enter release MIS all again, the system will display a common error code of 1011. Error code 1011 means that one or more links were already released. Now I will demonstrate how to busy out and release individual MIS link 2. The command result shows that it passed. Now I will release that same link. Again, the command result is pass. If you attempt to busy out or release an individual processor channel number that is not assigned, the CM will display an error message and wait for you to enter a valid number or the all parameter or to cancel the command. I will demo this using processor channel 8, which is not assigned to a CMS or IQ link. The system displays a processor channel not valid message. It then waits for a valid number or the word all to be entered. Or you can hit the F1 key to cancel the command. I will cancel this command. The list history command will show the busy out and release MIS commands, what parameter was used, the date and time the command was executed, and the login that was used. However, it will not show the results of the command. These two highlighted lines show when I twice entered the busy out MIS all command. The next two lines show when I entered two of the release MIS all commands. The last two lines highlighted show when I busied out and then released processor channel two. For all of the busy out and release commands, the qualifier column shows the parameter that was used. You'll notice there is not any entry for the busy MIS command for processor channel 8. That is because the system did not execute that command as it knew processor channel 8 was not assigned as an MIS link. So this command was not executed by the CM and does not show up in the list history output. Now I will cancel out of the list history display. This concludes the video on the new busy out and release MIS command parameters. Thank you for your time today. We welcome comments, questions, and feedback at mentor at avaya.com or on Twitter at Avaya Mentor. For more details or related information, please visit support.avaya.com. Thank you for choosing Avaya.